I'll be explaining how to program bool statements, ifs, ints, and doubles on MetaTrader 4 or MQL4. My name is Andre McClendon. Let's begin, guys. So first off, you have your MetaTrader open, and you want to go to MetaQuotes up on the top left-hand side, or press F4. Next thing you need to do is go to New on the left-hand side, top left-hand side, and hit Next. And this one we're going to call it uh, basically the basics. Now, the, the first thing I will be covering, guys, in this video will be bool statements, okay? So first off, we're going to start with the bool statement, guys. So we're going to see a bool A. We can name it anything you want to, but basically we're going to see if these numbers match. So we're going to see if 10 equals to 5. Now we know it's false, but we're going to see how we can get it to read that way, okay? So this would be, we're going to do a comment. A comment of, let's see, uh, comment A. So what, what this is going to do is check if bool A equals 10, does it equal to 5, okay? Now, we know that this is false, but we're going to see it read on, on there. So we're going to hit uh, compile. There's no errors. And then we're going to go down here. You make, make sure you guys go to your navigator. Go to expert advisors. And look for the basics and add it to your screen okay you can see in the top left hand corner guys it says false right there see so basically what it's doing is just checking if it's true or false so let's go back to our trader right here now, now we can make it a little bit more complex let's try this okay if we're going to do uh, bool say b Oh, actually, let's make it a little bit easier. We can do uh, bool b, and you can say let's make it a, a, an easy uh, formula. There's five, say five plus twenty-five equals. So you guys want to check thirty-five. Okay, no errors on that. Go to the comment and change it out to B. Now, when doing that, guys, we'll go back to our MetaTrader and see what happens. See, it says uh, false. Let's see if our math is right. See, 5 plus 25 is false. So, this is an easy way. Bool just checks if two things equal each other. You know, if they either equal true or false. So, our next thing, guys, is an int. Okay? Now, ints just read whole numbers, okay? So we can call int, we can call it, uh, let's do int1. Now, int1 can equal, let's say, this big long number, okay? And int2 equals this long number, okay? Basically, when we go to here, we go to the comments section, what we can do is this. We can do a space right here, a little bit, and say first number, and then we do our and plus one, and then we do another plus right here, second number and then plus two so what this will do is in the code it was going to give us our space it's going to say first number plus int number one and our second number int number two okay so you see it you see first number this long number and second number that's is a visual read about what's happening because an int is just giving you whole numbers now if we want um, basically uh, what is it a uh, a non whole number we use something called double now we're gonna call this double we can call it the ask price Give you guys an example so we're gonna we'll make this equal ask okay so basically what whenever that whatever the ask price is this will give us a readout. And what we can do is delete all this right here. 
and just type in the current ask price. We plus and do ask price. So we hit F7 and we let it load. And if we look at it, we'll see that it will update in the top corner. See, the ask price is 1.67128 and we're on pound CAD and that's what it's uh, currently at. So that's what you guys can do with this right here when it comes to that uh, easy code. If you guys been doing strategy tester, it's the same thing. I've talked about that in multiple videos. Uh, also, if you guys go through here, we need an if statement. Let's see what we can do for an if statement, okay? Let's do a basic if statement. If, just say this. So let's just say if, well, let's do bool, I'm sorry, if, a equal equals B to check. Now what is doing before, before I go any further, we're checking if A, the bool of A, is equaling to this right here. So if they're both true, then it'll work. If false, not. What we want to do is this right here. Get our brackets out, to make it very easy. Now if this is true, let's say we get an alert, okay? Now, alert basically gives you like a pop-up window of what's happened. If this is true, we do an alert and say these, I would say these, uh, what else do I say? they are true. Okay? If they're true, I give an alert saying they are true. And let's do an else statement, okay? Now, an else is like, if this happened, if this is true, then do this. Else, do this. Okay. Where is that? And we'll do another alert saying, they are not, they are false. Okay. So very easy way to program this. You guys are learning how to use if statements and alerts. And L statements, we hit compile, there's no errors. Let's go back to administrator right here. And we should get something that pops up like this, see? They are true, they are true, they are true. Okay, let's see. They just continuously keep going. Let's see. See, this equals false, and this equals false. False equals false, alert, they are true, okay? So let's make A equal true, okay? Let's say, if, let's say if 10 equals 10, okay? Hit compile. So we know that bool A equals 10 and it's true. Look, they are false, see? Because we know that if A equals true and B equals false, they don't equal up. It does it goes to the else statement saying alert. They are false. Okay, so it's a very easy way of uh, working with an if statement. Let's, uh, let's try a different example here. Okay. Let's remove this if statement and say one. Okay, so we're dealing with one, which equals that big number. So if one, okay. If one plus two, this uh, int value, okay, is greater than, let's say, uh, let's just make up this number here. If this is true, our, our box should pop up, they are true. If it's false, they are false. Let's see if this int number plus this int number is greater than that. And we can see that it's popping up. Up, oh, see, pop back up. They are true. See, keeps on going. They are true. So that's an easy way to use ints, doubles, and bools. Now, how can you guys use this in uh, in programming, right? So what you can do is that if you have an indicator value in, as an int, and you would compare it to another indicator, and say if they are equal to or one is greater, we can do an if statement saying, hey, if this indicator is greater than this. We set an alert, or if the ask price crosses, let's say 
the ask price goes above the uh, moving average. Then you can say something like this. The uh, bull statement saying, hey, moving average is above it, will say true. And then you can actually say, hey, alert, alert, alert. Uh, the moving average is above the, uh, I'm sorry, the ask is above the moving average. And you can enter in a trade from there. But this is basically covering very simple uh, beginner programming, bull statements, ints, and doubles. You guys can do a double for many things. You guys can do a double also for the bid. So double and just say bid price. If that's if you want to. You don't have to do it this way. You guys can also use it as an indicator. Most indicators I've seen are, are, are doubles and not ints. Sometimes they are. But if you guys are using uh, a double for that, you guys can use it. And you guys can do the same thing. Compare the ask versus bid. And we can delete all this right here. Uh, give me a second, actually. Let's just head down here. And we can do another alert saying, or we can do a print statement. Or you can do an alert. Yeah, just actually, let's just stick with the alert. And we can just do an alert saying, do another if. Okay, we know that the ask price is great if the ask price is greater than if you guys can't see is right here if the ask price is greater than the bid price and we know this is true because this is how it just basically is we do an alert saying the ask is greater than the bid Okay, hit compile, there's no errors. Let's go back to MetaTrader, okay. And you'll see, see, the ask is greater than the bid. Wait, okay, it'll pop right back up uh, once the next uh, tick happens. See, they are true, and we just can keep on going. So I covered a couple uh, basics in here, guys. If any questions or comments, once again, hit me up on Telegram or in the comment section or on my website. Uh, Telegram is the, uh, the fastest way to get in contact with me. And I covered how to use alerts, ifs, else statements, comments, double, ints, and bulls. If any questions on those, once again, guys, please don't hesitate. Go to Telegram, hit me up there, or hit me up in uh, the comment section below. But thank you guys for making it in the video. Please like, share, and subscribe. It helps out the channel. And I'll see you guys on the next video.